Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been gone for a few days and if you don't follow me on social media or anything like that or you didn't watch my last video, I was in LA for Generation Beauty and a few other things. I did go to Generation Beauty on Saturday and I just want to thank all my lovely subscribers that I saw and took pictures with and I also want to shout out all my subscribers that I actually met at Disneyland. I went to Disneyland on Sunday with my best friend and it was really cool. I think I met like 30 of you there. It was crazy. People were looking at me in line like, who is this person? I'm like, I'm nobody. I'm just a regular YouTuber. Um, so so it was cool to meet all of you there. So thanks for everyone that came and said hello to me, took pictures, hugged me, squeezed me, took selfies with me. I love you guys. You're the best. Oh, hold on, girl. It's hot. Yeah, uh, that's where I've been, and I just wanted to give you guys a little update. So today is going to be my May favorites. That sounded weird, right? So today is going to be my May favorites. We're already midway through 2014. Good loud. So my first favorite of the month is actually a book and I am obsessed with it. I'm almost completely done with it and it is Girl Boss. It is the founder of Nasty Gal. I've been shopping on Nasty Gal for a really long time and when I saw her book come out I was like okay I have to read it plus it says Girl Boss on it and I feel like all girls should read this book. Um, but it is amazing. It just, it, it, I don't know, it's just like, it's not like a self-help book or a how-to book. It's just like her journey and what she did. And I just feel like I relate so much to her in this book. It's just been a really, really good read. So if you guys were wondering if you should purchase it or not, I would say definitely go for it. I am on chapter 9. So as you can see, I don't have that much left. So my next favorite is a pair of glasses. And they are from the brand Rock. I got these on Beginning Boutique, which is an Australian website, and I think they were like 80 bucks. But I'm very into like black and gold sunglasses at the moment. I've purchased like four pairs of sunglasses recently, and they're all black and gold. So clearly I have a thing at the moment. But these are super, super cute. I love them. And the thing that I like most about these glasses is that they're super, super black, and nobody can see your eyes. So they're like great traveling glasses or just great sunny days in Florida glasses because it is bright here. Bright. <laughs> Next is an oldie but a goodie to me and I go back and forth with this product. I mainly use it more in the summertime because I am showing a lot more skin and it is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. I love this stuff. It is definitely a holy holy grail of mine. Um, it is just spray on perfect legs in an instant. This is Deep Glow, the darkest one that they have and it's basically like leg makeup. Now it says Oh, excuse me for a second. Um, it says that you can apply this, you know, just spray it in your hand and rub it on, or you can spray it on and rub it in that way. But it is kind of like makeup, and I don't really like to get it in my hand. So I just have these Glatex gloves that I buy from CVS, and I like to put the gloves on, spray the product into the glove, and then work it all over my body. It just covers all imperfections, like if you have any veins on your legs, any bruising, any scarring, anything like that. It is just amazing. It is water resistant and it won't transfer on your clothes. I've never had an issue with it. And the glove situation, when you wear the glove, it just makes it so much easier to apply and then you just bloop bloop, pull the gloves off and then you don't have like all the grossness all over your hands. They do offer it in I think four different shades, four or five, um, but I always go for deep glow because it's my favorite. I'm sure if you're familiar with my channel you have seen me mention that before because is the bomb. Next is a few nail polishes that I want to mention. Two are from China Glaze that I actually just picked up this weekend at Generation Beauty. They're two of their newer colors and this one is called Bottoms Up which is what I have on my nails and this one is That's Sure Bright which is just kind of this really nice neon purple color like a lavender purple color. This is what I have on my nails now and this is definitely what I'm painting my nails next. And then another polish that I have is from Sally Hansen and this is the color foil it says nail makeup on it and it's just like a metallic nail polish this is the color rose gold rose gold I always have a hard time saying rose gold it's like rose gold like one word the only one that I really like out of all of them is the rose copper one I'm, I was saying rose gold rose gold and it's actually rose copper <laughs> I have some contacts that I want to mention. I wore these in my Maleficent tutorial and a lot of you guys were asking what contacts they were. Um, they are by, I'm not even sure, Desio. I think that's how you say it, Desio. Um, and I'm just showing you the packaging. So if you did purchase these, this is what it would look like. Um, but the green ones I have in here I wore were forest green and I do love these contacts. I've purchased these, these have been sent to me and I just think they're amazing. They're a little bit on the pricey side for a contact, but if you have dark eyes and you find that you can't find a color contact that actually 
actually changes the color of your eyes. I would definitely recommend these to you because they do really change the color of your eyes. You guys know that I have dark brown eyes and in that Maleficent tutorial you could see that they were like green green in your face green so I do really like these I don't really wear contacts on a regular basis um, I just like to do them for videos and different kinds of looks next are a couple of things that I've mentioned before but I wanted to mention them because they're kind of like my before flight ritual like I do it all the time now I used to always break out when I would fly like it's just not good to be in the air like the dry air in the cabin is just not really good for your skin and I feel like whatever you have on your face when you go into the air it just like wants to push it all out because the pressure and everything like that so what I do before I fly is I do my glam glow treatments and the first one that I do I usually do this the day before I leave and it's the glam glow super mud clearing treatment which looks like this and as you can see he's almost completely completely empty so it's almost time for a new one. I like to use this to really clear my skin, cleanse it to get any kind of impurities out of it. I leave this on for about 15 minutes. When I do take that mask off, um, my face is pretty red because all the blood is kind of pulled to the surface. So if that happens, you don't worry about it, it happens to me. But it usually goes away within like 10-15 minutes. And then um, the next day I do apply this mask twice. I apply it when I get up in the morning and I apply it before I go to bed at night. It is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment and you really want your face to be hydrated before you get into a plane because the air is so dry in the cabins so that's why I like to use the thirsty mud this is my favorite of the glam glow treatments the thirsty mud it just is so it feels so good on your face it's just you can just tell your face is just like drinking it in so I apply this the morning and night before I get on the plane and boom look I didn't break out once hi and it's a five-hour flight from LA to Florida and Florida to LA so I am on the plane a very long time and these two things save my face I used to break out every single time but the last couple times that I've traveled I've done that and boom nothing's happened all right next are next 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 you guys saw this in the picture of my last favorites and then I didn't mention it and that's because sometimes when I'm filming if you guys see me looking down I know that you think that I'm staring at myself like oh hey Nicole but I'm not I'm just trying to make sure that I'm in focus because it's very easy to go out of focus um, with this camera so I'm I'm just looking down to make sure I'm in focus or if you see me like this I'm looking to make sure that the product you can read like right now it's too bright so you can't read it so don't think that I'm like being like self-absorbed and just like staring at myself while I'm talking to you guys. I'm not. I'm just checking to make sure we're in focus. So last time, I love you. So last time, I didn't mention this in the video because I was completely out of focus last favorites video. But this time, I can see I'm in focus, so we're talking about it. This is the Proactive Plus Skin Smoothing Exfoliator. Now, I just want to say right away that I do buy Proactive myself. It's not sent to me. I buy it because I like it. Because I feel like some people are like, ah, you get things for free and that's why you talk about them. And that's not true. Most of the things that I show you guys are by myself. Okay, I'm ranting. This is the new Proactive. I'm sure you guys have seen commercials for it. I do have everything from the line, but this is by far my favorite, 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 favorite product of all of them. It is the Skin Smoothing Exfoliator. It has benzoyl peroxide side in it and it's an acne clearing kind of a scrub and I use this almost every single day. It says to use it um, twice a day but I really only use it once. I have noticed a dramatic difference in my skin by just really only using this one product in my skincare regimen. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is it is an exfoliator. I get spray tanned so my face is white all the time like super super white like even whiter than it's ever been since I've been using this but that's okay with me because it is taking away all my dark spots I notice that I'm not breaking out nearly as much as I used to and it is just really I just really like how it feels on my face this is like my favorite part to do it's really cooling I just love it I can't say enough good things about it all right this I just want to mention because he's just so cute and tiny and small this is just a fix plus that I use when I travel because he's cute and he's tiny and he's mini and we like many things so I had to mention him just in case you guys didn't know they were making these little tiny cute fix pluses they are and I like them next is the Peter Thomas Roth oilless oil 100% purified squalling 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 mm -hmm. so you guys saw this if you watched my uh, haul video this was a sample that was given to me at Ulta and that is a serious sample right right so I took this with me when I was traveling and because it was tiny and I like it because I like to use oils on my face but like it says this is an oilless oil 
It's like a, almost a tongue coaster for me. Well, clearly I'm having talking issues today. Um, and it, I like it because it gives you the same kind of benefits and the moisture as an oil would, but it's a drier oil because it's oilless. So you don't have that kind of greasy, oily feeling that you would if you were using something like Josie Marin. Don't get me wrong, I love Josie Marin. That's probably my favorite kind of beauty oil that they have. But this is definitely second place as of now. Just like any beauty oil, you can use this anywhere. You can use it on your face, you can use it on your elbows, you can use it on your cuticle, you can use it on your heels, you can use it on your knees. You can use it anywhere that you feel your body just needs a little bit of extra moisture. And like I said, if you are not somebody that likes that oily kind of greasy feeling, try this. It is amazing. Try to get a sample because that is a hell of a sample. <laughs> Next is a lipstick that I want to mention. I I think this is the one that I showed in my haul and most of the time I have it listed in the bottom bar as goddess. It is not goddess, it is duchess and it is what I have, it is what I have, it is what I have on my lips right now. I haven't worn anything but this color since I got it. It is just this really nice muted dusty rose kind of mauve -y color that I'm absolutely in love with. I used to not really gravitate towards this kind of lip color and what I've been wearing it with, which I also have on my lip, is um, from MAC and this is the Spice Lip Liner. And as you can see, they go great together. So I have them on my lips. It makes me kind of feel like a little chola when I wear it, but I love it, so hey. And these Lorac lipsticks are just the bomb. I need like them all. They're good, like really good, like really, really good. Lastly, I want to mention my Bare Skin Foundation. You guys saw me do a first impression on it, and I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I do really, really, really love this foundation. I haven't had any kind of breakout or any kind of skin irritation from it at all. When I actually went to Generation Beauty, I met with the Bare Minerals people, and they were so like, oh my god, we can't believe you got a bottle that didn't open. We sent that video everywhere. And I guess that was just kind of like a fluke thing. Like, it's totally not normal. So, um, I just thought it was funny that's why I include it in the video so I just wanted to let you guys know that I do love it in case you wanted to try it for yourself and also what I've noticed with the brush and just getting more comfortable and familiar with the foundation is I don't need to use as much as I did when I did the first impressions I feel like I had too much makeup on my face and that's why it was so easily sliding off of my face um, I realized that even if it doesn't seem like there's makeup in the brush the kind of more that you're buffing it the product is still coming out of the brush. So I really like it with the brush. I have not tried it with anything else. A lot of you tell me to try it with the Beauty Blender and the Real Technique Expert Face Brush. A lot of you guys have recommended for me to try it like that. So I will and let you guys know my thoughts on that. So, meep. That is everything from my May favorites. I don't think I have anything else to say except I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. body's own lipid barrier. <laughs>